Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it and you could purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing the lovely Blancpain Villeray Complete Calendar. This is a complete calendar moon phase with a half hunter case back and properly speaking, the watch is the Villeray Contium Complet Demi Settlement timepiece 40 millimeters in rose gold that sits fairly low at 11.9 millimeters on the wrist considering the removable case back automatic winding and modular complication. The watch is also relatively constrained across the wrist at only 45 millimeters lug to lug. This one wears a treat on a smaller wrist. A 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs reminds us that this is a modern watch with a broad footing and stance and I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference because of the compact lug to lug dimension. The strap that's fitted is a very handsome medium brown medium rectangular scale alligator leather and as you can see it has a little bit of a bolstering it also has sheer sided construction showing you the layers of the leather and a monotone stitch with a more natural calf skin on the bottom and you can see this is a new Blancpain factory strap there is a deployant clasp which as you can see is substantial and this is the, I believe this is the GNF Chatelain system with a leaf spring inside made of titanium. So you have a rose gold double deploying clasp, and this is the same system that Richard Mille uses. It's simply more classically styled for the Blancpain timepiece. It is substantial and it's nicely curved on the underside to trace the arc of the wrist with no discomfort. Jumping back to the case itself, it is handsome, squat, and rather nostalgic. The case construction is to a high standard with a sharp break between the case band and the lug itself. That's evidence of good finishing, also complex construction. The hinge for the Hunter case back is nicely recessed and unobtrusive. It won't dig the wrist. You can, you can see it has a little revetment of its own, sort of parked in a garage. The bezel is lovely, and you can see the teardrop minimalist lugs slope away. The bezel with a double gadrone or double stepped profile. And on the crown side, a simple onion style crown. Jumping to the dial, a lovely sort of sunray guilloche radiating out from the center and quite a bit going on on this dial. It's a triple calendar and you can see there are applique rose gold numerals outboard with a mirror polished inner bezel and you can see the reflection of the numerals against the inner bezel. The center dial features that lovely guilloche radial pattern and then we have an aperture style calendar with the day and the month a serpentine fire blued steel date index so you can actually follow the pointer date around the dial it keeps everything symmetrical and then there is a lunette style moon face which has its own little moon profile if you look at it from the side. The crescent is very much a moon over a moon. The moon face as with all of the other indications of this calendar adjusted by a very, very slick and hidden indexing system. Note that there are no pusher adjusters on the flank of this watch. No aspect of this watch that's visible on the wrist features a, push, a pusher adjuster dimple. Instead, you have under lug correctors that are used to adjust the system. They even lock you out from damaging the system during the danger zone. So you can see how quickly and easily I'm able to cycle the moon phase just by pushing the under lug corrector and you index quickly and easily to change all four primary indications of the watch. Now the timepiece also features lovely skeletonized foyer or leaf style hands in rose gold to match the case as well as the numerals. Turn it all over and you can see that it's a relatively simple profile. You can still have this one customized if you wish because it has a bare polished rose gold case back. The timepiece however also features a display case back and it's the best of both worlds. You're not shorted the gold of a pure gold case back nor are you shorted the right to see the movement for which you've paid. There's a handsome engine turning inside of the case back and the movement is the Blancpain 1150 based twin mainspring barrel 72 hour power reserve 6654P. So unidirectional automatic winding for efficiency. It is handsomely executed, adjusted in a chronometer style five positions. It features a beat rate of 28,000 800 vibrations per hour, so it beats eight times per second. And as you can see, everything is gloriously decorated. There is a handsome rose lathe pattern, a sort of, I, I would say, 
is a sort of modified Geneva wave. As you can see, the individual indentations, but you can also see that they are clearly aligned in a wave form. The edge of the rotor, as well as the edge of every bridge, featured a mirror chamfering, and you can see that mirrored anglage, not just on the edges of the bridge, but also within every jewel and screw sink. You can appreciate that there is a Cote de Genève blazon across the bridges of this 28 jewel movement, perfectly aligned and laid down with an abrasive wheel. You can see there is a gradient from one side to the other. All screw heads are black polished, and I appreciate this deeply, and all wheels, where visible, feature satin graining. You can see the twin mainspring barrels, which endow the watch with its robust 72-hour power reserve, but also know that they provide a very even torque release so that the watch doesn't feature the dramatic drop in amplitude that a single barrel watch will experience after 24 or 48 hours. You can really see the gleam of the anglage on the rotor as well as the bridge edges from this angle. And of course all of the screws handsomely executed with black polished caps. You can see this Blancpain, complete calendar, moon phase, and make it yours on the watch box.